Thinking of doing your HGV license? Well, you've just passed your HGV license. Not sure on driver's hours. Not sure on working time. Not sure how you've hitched up to a trailer. Not sure how you strap a load. Then why not check out the new Essential Truckers Handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information. Lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf up the top there, so if I need it, I just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Oh. <sighs> hey, good morning, all. How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. You join me on Thursday morning. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm in the yard. I actually got home last night, brought this load down from, where did I pick it up from? Oh, on Doncaster, it was Darlington, yeah, yeah, Darlington, picked it up from Darlington, I was up in Washington yesterday morning, picked it up from Darlington, brought it back down, got back to the yard, Actually met up with Claire on the way down yesterday. Uh, we had some lunch in uh, Tip Shelf and uh, headed back down together. Claire was home last night as well, so it was nice. Um, I'm going into Blind Avon this morning to tip this out. There's going to be some fun and games going up there. Um, so I'll take you up with me. I'll take the cameras. I'll show you the nice little roads I've got to go up. Um, and then I'm going back up to Washington again. It's four weeks in a row I've been up that way now. So yeah, um, from here, up to Blind Avon, back here, fuel up, had blew up, and up to TSA. Hopefully that's going to be ready by about half past 12, 1 o'clock, which means then I will be up in uh, Barton Park then for about 7, which means then I can start at 6 in the morning, and uh, into Morelli, get that tipped, and then whatever I'm going for my backload, don't know where I'm going for a backload yet. But, um, yeah, right, let's get out of here. Uh, had my doctor's appointment, uh, or hospital appointment on Tuesday. Not good news, I'm afraid. Um, apparently, I am not, um, um, my hands and swollen enough to warrant going back on to the, um, to the biologic injection, unfortunately. Um, but the pain I have is nothing to do with the arthritis. <laughs> I also have fibromyalgia now, uh, which is something to do with the nerve endings and um, they're very, very sensitive. And uh, there's basically nothing they can do for fibromyalgia. Uh, <clears throat> it's just a case of pain management. So that's what I gotta do. Um, they're um, prescribing me naproxen, which is a very high um, anti-inflammatory, because I'm taking brofen at the moment. It seems to work. Take a brofen about an hour or so later, then it's everything's eased off. Um, I timed it all wrong last night. Um, I could feel everything coming back when I got back to the yard last night. So I took a brofen, I was back at the yard about half past seven. Um, and I couldn't, take any more um, before I went to bed because I went to bed at 10 o'clock which was like two and a half hours later so this morning then <laughs> I've woken up in a bad way so I've taken some this morning now so hopefully in the next hour or so everything will ease off oh, I'll tell you why I wouldn't wish the pain on my worst enemy I really wouldn't but, just gotta get on with it, haven't you? Crack on through. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it, crack on through. I'm not gonna let it affect my work. I don't do sick, I don't do time off. Unless I can't move full stop. <laughs> um, but going to the dock, um, I gotta try and get uh, more sleep, because that helps. Um, although when your body is resting that's when it seems to be when it kicks in most 
Um, but they said to try and get some more sleep, a little bit more exercise just to keep everything going. Um, uh, and take it from there then, really. Uh, so yeah, that's the update with me. <laughs> So I'm still on the uh, the Metadrex, this is a metadrexate in injection form. So I'll be taking that and to stop the nauseousness. Uh, supposed to be taking uh, folic acid for six days now, rather than just the one day. I'm supposed to be taking it the day after I have the injection, but now I've got to take it every day. <sighs> Don't get old, guys. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. And I did have one guy last week message saying stop moaning about the arthritis didn't think i moaned about it that much but i just said to him you know it's arthritis what do you expect and uh, said that it was uh, also fibromyalgia which i've just been diagnosed with and i said if you don't like it don't watch and he came back with why are you being so aggressive didn't realize it was being aggressive <laughs> just saying it as it is nothing to do with being aggressive at all so I'm not gonna mention his name or anything so it's not worth it but yeah so anyway I'm gonna crack on up now and uh, once I get in towards Blind Avenue I'll put the cameras back on and uh, you can see the wonderful roads I'm gonna be driving up <laughs> I'll see you in a bit toodles All right then guys, uh, here we join me about 10 minutes later. <laughs> I am on the uh, 4043, heading up towards Blen Avon. And uh, yeah, I've got, what, 16 minutes, so this will be a bit of a long clip. Uh, whether I can waffle on for that length of time, I do not know, probably not, but there may be quiet stages where you just see the road in front of me or whatever. Um, it's not too bad by here. That's when you get a little bit further up into the uh, <laughs> into the little villages going up towards Blind Avenue. That's when it gets fun. Especially this time of the morning as well. It's got all the school traffic. I'm going to be there just before 8 o'clock. Um, Google says they're open. So I don't know what time they opened. Um, it's, uh, on my on the app it says seven o'clock onwards for delivery, so eight o'clock will be fine. I don't want to get there too early because I know uh, going up to TSA. If I go up too early, I'm just going to be hanging about for a couple of hours because <sighs> that's never ready till about past twelve, one o'clock. I say once I've tipped this, I'll go back to the yard. Um, I've got a fuel up ad blue up because I've got a quarter of a tank of fuel, a quarter of a tank of ad blue. Um, so I'll top them up before heading back up to the northeast. And uh, we shall go from there then. See, so I'll be in Baton Park tonight. I'll be about 48 minutes in from Morelli. So I'll start about six, half past six. Get up to Morelli then for between seven and a half past. And uh, they're normally pretty quick in their tipping. And see what my backload is. Quite possibly could be cold ingredients for Monday morning. Should be a Cardiff Aldi's jobby. Not too busy up through here actually. It's normally rammed. And about this time of the morning. This is a bit of a nightmare as well, where you've got to contend with the parked cars on the left. There's no way you'll get two of them through there. Hopefully that fan will slow down when he sees me indicating, just to get past this little bendy bit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
collision warning. <laughs> There's two of these capital plastics. There's um, one that will come up on the right hand side here, but it's not that one I'm going to. It's the one I'm going up to, it's further up on an industrial estate. I think I've been to the industrial estate once before, but I don't think it was Capital Valley Plastics I went to. I think it was something else. Anyway, how is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. Let me know how you're doing. And if you are watching and you're not subscribed, then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button? It uh, doesn't cost you anything, it's all free. And uh, if you like the video, then give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumbs down. Doesn't make any difference. It's uh, it's all good for the YouTube gods, as Teapot One says. And uh, uh, leave a comment below. It's all good for the YouTube analytics. There you go, this bit's a. Uh, All good fun and games coming up through here. Especially when you get a car like that pulling out in front of you. <laughs> Said thank you to the van to the left, because they didn't do any, or sorry to the van to the left. But they didn't even get in their way. <laughs> Nothing to me. Yeah, it's all right. No problem. Right, it opens up a little bit here now. Things start making a little bit of progress. 11 minutes to go. So 11 more minutes of waffling. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> I've released the latest video from uh, the Biker Brothers. It's all an adventure as well. Uh, sort of uh, was able to sort of tie up David's audio with mine at the beginning part of the video. Hopefully, eventually, that's what it's going to be like all the way through. But I'm having problems with my audio on the bike. Um, I figured out, I've ordered a piece now to go on the handlebars for um, a camera to face me as well. So hopefully that will uh, look a little bit better as well. Um, David's got his audio down to a T on his uh, on his Ghost. And I gotta be honest, I am considering getting the Ghost and working the same way as David has. But I've got one more thing to try with the setup I've got now with my GoPro. Um, and by the next time I do the next video because it's not going to be for a couple of weeks now I don't think because I'm taking the bike in for service on Saturday it's not due in it's due on the 22nd it's, that's what it's booked in for 22nd uh, but obviously when I work away all week uh, I'm going to take it in on Saturday the 17th which by the way is Claire and I's first wedding anniversary believe it or not it's a year year on Saturday we've been married and uh, it's been a lovely year Fair play, it's been really, really good. So Claire, if you are watching, very much doubt you are. Happy anniversary, babe. Love you loads. Many more to come, sweet dad. Um, yeah, I got one more thing to try now with the uh, with the the camera system and the audio setup. Uh, I'm getting a new helmet. Hopefully, that will be there the weekend. Um, so, fingers crossed, uh, audio will improve with the new helmet. I'm getting a, uh, an, an LS2 Adventure helmet. Not cheap, but Clay's buying it for me for Christmas. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going up this Saturday. Hopefully it'll be, um, it'll be there, it'll, be, it'll have arrived. I haven't heard anything from yet to say it's arrived, but hopefully it's arrived. And then, 
uh, I can set up the camera and the audio system through that and fingers crossed it'll all be sorted because I've been watching Teapot One uh, which is Bruce, uh, Bruce Smart um, he's got like nearly 70,000 subscribers he's a moto vlogger he's got a GS and he's really really good at what he does and he sorted his audio out he had the same problems I did when he first started with the uh, either too much wind noise or the clicking from the audio and so I've had a look at what he's done and hopefully I'm gonna be able to do the same fingers crossed and uh, also as well I did mention last week that something was happening last weekend um, Claire's done a CBT and uh, she's never ridden a bike before in her life and she passed the CBT on the weekend so she can now have a bike uh, so we went up on we went up to Swansea on Sunday and uh, we've bought a brand new bike for her she's now got a Benelli BN125 well we haven't got it yet um, it's be a couple of weeks yet because it's uh, got to go to the workshop and their backlog is unbelievable on the workshop apparently so we've got to wait for it to go through the workshop so uh, you never know there might even be some videos with me and Claire riding who knows um, but she's going to, uh, there's, that's Comavon Works, that's the one um, that Claire went to, that's um, Capital Plastics as well, but the one I'm going to is further up, sorry, uh, just noticed that on the right there now, uh, <laughs> I'm going to the one up here though, uh, so yeah, fingers crossed, uh, I might even get some video out with uh, myself and Claire riding, we might be able to go for some, uh, some nice long rides somewhere. Uh, obviously A and B roads, which are better than motorways anyway, but obviously because Claire will have L plates up, uh, she can't go on the motorway. Uh, but she is planning on doing her direct access. She wants to get about six months experience out on the 125. Um, and then she's going to go for a direct access, which means the L plates can come off. She may keep the 125 or she might get something a little bit bigger. I was a bit close then with that white BMW then. So yeah, it might, uh, she might get something a little bit bigger. So, fingers crossed. But yeah, very proud of her. Again, never ridden a bike before apart from coming out on the back with me. And uh, she passed the CBT on, uh, on Saturday. Brilliant. Onwards and upwards with that now. <coughs> So she wants me to uh, give her a few pointers before we actually go out on the road properly. Um, so I'll probably take her out to an industrial estate somewhere with it and uh, do some training on it. <coughs> and then uh, and we can go from there then. But yeah, Claire can now ride a bike as well. So yay! It's all good. This is where it gets interesting now. It gets a little bit narrower up here. Six minutes away. You get to the end of here and there's a, a roundabout. I think it's straight over that one, or sort of towards the left of the roundabout. And you can see this is where it starts getting narrow. The truck is wider than the, <laughs> the lane in parts. Just take me time going up here. Got a few cars behind me. Widens out a bit by here. And when you go into that uh, Comavon Works one, you've got to um, got to come all the way up here to turn round to, to go in there. And then you're going to do the same coming out again. Then you're going to make your way up this way, round the roundabout, and back down again. Because you can't make that turn coming up or going out. So it's all fun and games going into that Comavon Works. And then go into the one up the top here on the industrial estate. At uh, 0.3 of a mile now to the roundabout.
double yellows. Assist on. I think this is a three way traffic system. Isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I'm not fully freighted. Um, I've got about 18 ton of this like rolled up plastic sheet in. Doesn't smell the best, I've got to be honest, but. Um, about 33 ton. going slow because it's not getting up the hill it's because I'm just taking my time going around here right. not that one a little left onto this one here now I think I have brought you up this way before Is the uh, the old Google, so that's good. Keys and keys, industrial state. That's what I want. Not this first left. This is the one just after it. There we go. Cabell Valley Plastics. certain way in. Birds in words, next gate. Okay. Which is closed. Oh, that's good. Obviously, through the next to that first gate. Oh, I've turned myself around now. Where 
turn it on there because it's a blocked end. Get this done. Don't got the room, I don't think. Ooh, it's gonna be a soft shoe shuffle here, I think. Back and forth. I haven't even got the room yet. Small movements. Front camera's cut out. Not what I wanted. It's probably a bit warm, is it? Yes, yeah, because I got the heating on as well. for a minute and I'll pop in and see him turn the heating down the camera's getting a bit warm Get a bit of paper in there trousers have been washed last night and <laughs> I got paper everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, going on that a bit. <laughs> right, I'll take that off there. Okay, let's go see him, see what's happening. Come back to you shortly. Doodles. Oh, it's a min. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's proved a little bit awkward for them because where they loaded me on the, through the back doors, the, uh, the bales of the plastic scrap are uh, literally right across the bed. They um, quickly show you. Oh, that screws up them. You can see on there, I'll, um, I'll zoom in on that. You can see where he's taking it all off. It's, um, yeah. Doing a good job of it. Fair play to him. He's uh, he's he's getting through it. I had to wait for the other truck that was in here to come out before I could come in. It's uh, time is it now? Uh, five to nine. It's not too bad. He's about halfway through at the moment. Uh, I came in. I got in here about half past eight. But, yeah. You can see he's uh, he's getting through it slowly but surely. Another one coming off, making a right mess, so I'm going to have to give the, uh, oh. Oh. excuse the thumb, put that back up there, if I can, there we go, uh, yeah, so it's just a case of uh, waiting now for him to finish doing this, I'm going to have to give it a good sweep off, 
Uh, Bullfin's kicking in a little bit now. I do feel a little bit better than I did first thing this morning. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> right. Come back to when I'm leaving. Uh, my other camera's ca <laughs> cooled down now. I'll put it in the fridge. <laughs> it was very warm. It's the only thing about uh, having the heat coming up through the screen as well as having the, the camera on is they, they do tend to overheat a little bit. So, yeah, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. That cooled it down. <laughs> uh, let's do it a bit, guys. Toodles. All done. Not too bad. 25 past 9. And that's the back brushed out. Sorted. Oh. Put that away. I'll get back to the yard. Put the old suit belt on. There we go. Come on, out, out. He's in. Only thing about this job, lots of flies. It's not good. All right. Come on, out. Thank you. I'm paid your rent. Uh, right. Center axle up. Quick swig of coffee. Right. Back to the yard now. Only about 20 minutes away. So, uh, so it's half past nine coming up. 27 minutes past, so. Time I get down there now. Fuel up, add blue up. And head up to TSA, probably be at TSA for about half past 11. Very much doubt it'll be ready then. I'm gonna have to wait an hour or so. Probably be away from TSA for about one o'clock. And head back up to Washington. Be up there then for about seven. All right. I'm sure I remember my way back now. <laughs> Uh, not very often I come up this way. Uh, I haven't put the nav on, so <laughs> I'm sure I'll remember the way back. I know there's a turn in here for the other industrial estate, so I go down to the bottom, turn right, go through that narrow bit in the town, and then go left, I think. And I'm not going to go right here. So much easier when you've got nothing on the back. <laughs> so watch these corners because they're a bit narrow. I do believe buses come up here as well, so or I could have another lorry come up here. So take me time. Good by there. That's a good job, I got a low trail on as well, because I've had a 15.7 on us, I mean I'd have taken half the trees out coming up here. But luckily, I got a 13.9 on, very, very low. It's lower than the, no, just a little bit higher than the trailer, that truck. It's not the best place to park. That's the way back here. The only problem is now, the impact, oh, it is a, it's a loading bay actually, believe it or not, that is a loading bay. 
I wouldn't really want to be trying to take stuff off the back of that on the hill. Right all angle there, and push everything at the end, and then on the tail lift. Oop, green light, here we go. The only thing is these lights don't last very long. Let's get through it. There we go, watch the beagle. Left ear. Out towards Punty Pool. There we go. Right, well, I'm going to crack on back to the yard now. You don't want to see all this again. You saw it coming up. Um, so let's get back to the yard. Let's get fueled up. Get our blued. Head up to TSA. I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Forty-seven minutes later, ready to go. Then I wait about twenty-five minutes for paperwork. Still, I got plenty of time. Plenty of time to get up there. And as you can see, I've got the camera up on the mirror again, just to show you the reverse. A lot of you seem to like that. Let down a bit. Light might improve a little bit. Right. Move out the tad. Not so close to the edge. Right. Let's go, go, go.
try and get whichever side you reverse around. Try and get as close as you can, but not too close as you're actually turning. know that if you're further over this side you know you're more than likely to get the clearance on your right. So as you can see as I'm taking it round there I'm getting a little bit close to the curb there. Still plenty of room now. Taking it nice and gently so people can see I'm actually reversing out. Still checking behind me making sure there's no cars. On that line there I can end up in the middle of the road Watch the gate. So then, as soon as I've cleared the gate, then it's swing it round. As you can see, oh, probably can't hear me. Uh, put the mic on. Uh, as I'm swinging round now, you can see I'm more or less in the middle of the road there. I'm almost clear of the gate, so I can then do a full lock. So I'm clear of the gate now. Full lock it. Bring it back round. As you can see then, I'm nice and clear to get out. I'm going to bring it forward. I'll do then. I'll stand by here two seconds. Open the door. I do this when I'm dropping the camera. There we go. Put you there. It's still recording, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. And um, we're ready to rock and roll. A bit bright out there now. Probably put the glass on, the sun will go in then. Right, so I have five hours and 41 minutes in front of me, actual drive time. I'm gonna need a break on the way up. Um, I have had it on break while I've been sat there because I was literally sat there for the best part of an hour before they even started doing anything. Obviously, I had on other work while I was opening the curtains. But then when I finished doing what I was doing, I put it on break. So that gives me a full four and a half hours before I need another one. But as it happens, I haven't had anything to eat yet. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably stop at Strangham, have a 15 minute there, Make myself something to eat. Crack on up there. I'll probably get as far as maybe Woodall. Get the Woodall. Have a half hour in there. Because I'm going to need a full break before I get up. So the first 15, then a half hour. That's my 45 minute drive time. Also incorporates working time as well with the 15. So we're good to go then. I know you've seen me come off this roundabout many, many times over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's just the way the uh, the plant or the jobs fall, really. It just seems to be lately. I do a lot of Washingtons. Uh, there we go. Right. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of all this now. Um, I may come back to you later on. Uh, just before I park up or whatever else because you seem to see like see me park up or whatever um, just to sort of rather have been a long boring video um, might come back to you just before I park up uh, failing that I will probably see you in the morning either before I've tipped at Morelli or after I've tipped at Morelli because I don't know what I'm going for a backlog yet could quite possibly be caught ingredients again but I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing on the app at the moment for a backload. So I'm running blind on that at the moment. So let's get this Morelli one sorted first and then we'll concentrate on the backload afterwards. But I'm not getting the head for today. Now I might, as I said, I might speak to you just before I pack up at um, Barton. And then uh, speak to you in the morning or I'll just come back to you in the morning one of the two so anyway whenever it is I'll speak to you in a second
Toodles. Ah, good morning all. All right, uh, I've tipped in my rally. Had to wait a little bit. There was one in there tipping and reloading when I got here at five to eight this morning. Uh, parked up a quarter to seven last night. No, quarter to eight. 1945 I finished last night. Um, and a quick bite to eat. Uh, started watching Yellowstone. Uh, watched the pilot episode last night. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, watched that, had a quick chat with Claire, and then uh, went to bed. I was up at six o'clock this morning, started at a quarter to seven. Left there at seven o'clock. Got you just after 10 to 8, I think it was, between 10 to 5 to 8. Didn't rush up. Um, mainly because... <sighs> it's not going to be interesting for you guys again. Sorry. I'm going back to core logistics. Or core ingredients. So, um, picking up a load of stuff for Cardiff again. So, <sighs> been there, done that. Again. <laughs> The last couple of weeks is all I seem to have done. But at least it's something, it's content, it's something I can put up. I know it's like watching paint dry and all that sort of thing, but what can I do? Job is what the job is. So, yeah, that's why I didn't record coming in this morning. You've seen it all before. And I just thought I'd come back to now and just let you know what I'm up to, let you know that I've tipped and, uh, yeah, I want to do something different with the channel and I don't know what to do with it. I really don't. I'll try and do something that other people aren't doing, but in this game, there's not a lot you can do that other people aren't already doing. So, I have to just stick with what I know for the minute and then uh, <laughs> see what happens over time. But it's, it's it's frustrating on my side of, of the th of of everything as well because I want to do something different for you guys, but especially when I'm doing weeks and weeks and weeks of doing exactly the same thing, it does get a little bit frustrated. I don't want to go left on this one. I want to go left on the next one. Um, yeah. So I don't know. We will see. I may even take some time out maybe have a few weeks off from the vlogging I don't know and then start afresh after a, a month or so not sure not sure but we will see um, so the uh, the bike inside of it will probably die down now over the uh, over the winter months. Uh, we will probably go out every now and again when it's a nice day like this. Might be a bit cold, but it's, at least it's nice. We might go out then. Uh, I do. Um, I am going to do a review on Claire's bike, uh, which is a Benelli BN125. Um, so when we pick that up, I don't know where that's going to be. That's probably going to be next weekend, I would have thought. I'm hoping anyway. I mean, we've basically bought it. Um, it's just waiting for the workshop to get it in there and get it PDI'd, which is pre-delivery inspection. Um, because uh, it had literally, the bike had literally just gone into the showroom the day before. There was no mirrors on it, uh, the throttle hadn't even been connected, it was it was just literally as it came out the crate. They'd taken it out of the crate, put it in the showroom, uh, and that's what Claire saw, and she literally fell in love with it. And ideally as well, it's the only one she could touch the floor properly on as well. Because um, she's only short, bless her, she's only a dut. And uh, the one we actually went to look at was the, the Honda CB125F. Um, but she can touch the floor now, and that's what she did a CBT on. Uh, but she's only tippy toe. Um, and believe it or not, the the CB125F was more expensive than the Benelli. So it's like a, uh, about 300 quid difference, I think, something like that. Um, and she saw the Benelli, she liked it, and then went over and sat on the uh, the, the CB125F. 
Uh, she sat on a couple of other bikes as well, or tried to sit on them. She just couldn't get them upright because she couldn't touch the floor. Bless her. Um, and uh, yeah, we ended up deciding on the uh, on the BN125. I'm not going to show you any pictures of it. I've got a couple of pictures of it, one with the sat on it and whatever else. But I'm not going to show you any pictures of it. <sighs> Woodpecker. Uh, I'm not going to show you any pictures of it. Um, and what I'm hoping to do is because she wants me to ride it home for her because uh, obviously it's motorway and everything else she can do motorways so I can so I'm gonna be insured on the bike as well and I'm gonna ride it home for her so on that ride home I'm gonna do a review on the bike and I got a few other extra bits and bobs now that I've ordered and um, hopefully by the time uh, we pick the bike up something else will have arrived as well that will hopefully help with the audio side of things and um, I should be fingers crossed getting a new helmet this weekend if it's arrived we ordered it last week uh, which is an adventure helmet I bought an LS2 or Claire's bought me an LS2 uh, carbon fiber adventure helmet which is absolutely gorgeous um, and that's gonna help as well with the uh, with the audio because it's not going to be so windy with it. Go on, my son. Um, so, yeah, there's a, there's a few things happening, and I'm hoping, as I said, to, uh, to do a, a review on the Benelli. Uh, I also want to take you out on my own as well, uh, on the GS, uh, give you a full insight to the GS. I haven't really done a walk around sort of show and tell of it yet, so I want to do that. Um, obviously my brothers and I will probably go out again um, in the next couple of weeks because my bike's going in this weekend now to be um, to have its first service on Thursday of next week and then I'll pick that back up on Saturday uh, so maybe weather permitting we'll be out on um, the weekend after next or next yeah weekend after yeah next weekend hopefully so there's a few things in the pipeline for for, for biker brothers um, there is um, a place in North Wales I'd like to go with my brothers, um, the Ponderosa Calf. We'd like to take a run up there with them because the roads up there are absolutely stunning. Uh, so I wouldn't mind doing the, the Ponderosa, but I don't really want to do anything now until I get my audio sorted. Um, David's got his audio sorted with his ghost. Um, my other brother Alan, he is um, he is buying the ghost system um, with the microphone and everything else. So he's getting a new helmet as well. His should be here next week. Um, so fingers crossed, we will get the audio side of things sorted, and uh, and we can sync them all up, and then uh, it should sound a little bit better. Fingers crossed, and then we can just sort of plow forward with the channel then and hopefully improve um, but yeah so there are, there are things in the pipeline for biker brothers um, so just bear with us on that one if you are watching biker brothers if you're not and you're into bikes why not check out the channel it's biker brothers it's all an adventure uh, it's myself and my brothers either doing our own thing or uh, going out together uh, none of us at the moment have done our own thing but Hopefully, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna change that by doing the uh, the review on the BN125 uh, from Benelli, uh, and it's a lovely color. It really is. It's very eye-catching. Um, a lot of people might not like it, but Claire loves it, and that's all that matters. And I love it as well. I think it's a lush-looking bike for a 125. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Things are gonna start improving on that. Um, but as I said, I do want to try and start doing something different with this channel. What, I don't know. Uh, it's basically just a trucking channel, so what I can do with it, I do not know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Time will tell, time will tell. Um, and I've got to be honest, the bloke I'm listening to, Teapot, uh, Teapot1, um, He's, he does podcasts, he's got uh, his own YouTube channel, I think he's on 70,000 subscribers now, he's a motor vlogger. He rides a GS um, and he's been all around the world, he did an all around the world trip for, uh, for charity. 
Um, and he's a top bloke, I've got to be honest. He really seems like a top bloke. And I'm just getting sort of to know him through the podcasts. And he's uh, sort of inspired me a little bit with the with the Biker Brothers videos and whatever. Um, so uh, if, you're, if you're into your bikes, then why not check out Teapot One? Um, it's all in one word, Teapot One. Not the number one, it's O-N-E, Teapot One. Uh, go, and have a, go and check his channel out and uh, see if you like what he does. He's, he's got loads and loads of videos. He does it full time. It's his full time job. Uh, he's an ex-copper. He did. He was doing it as well as being a copper, but then he took the decision then to um, give up the old bill and uh, and do the, the the vlogging full time. And now he goes all over the place. He goes to Spain. He goes to Canaries. He does all sorts. He, do, he you know he gives you some good insights to what uh, moto vlogging is about. It gives you good insights to if you want to do motorcycle touring or. Uh, just go and check his channel out. He's really, really good. Um, I think he's a fab bloke. Um, as I say, I'm starting to listen to uh, his podcast now. <clears throat> what I'm listening to, I'm not doing them in a row. I'm just sort of going through them and listening to them individually. The one I'm looking at, uh, listening to now, is the one he did with his wife uh, in Christmas 2021. Uh, so yeah, I'm having a listen to that at the moment. I listened to one yesterday. It was. Uh, Three and a half hours long. I think he did it the week before last with um, Hippo Drones. Uh, he's another moto vlogger. Um, so yeah, just that I've never, I've never lived, listened to post- podcasts before. Um, it's not something I've ever done, but I enjoyed listening to him. I listened to two of me. I say one was with Lisa, someone or other, um, and then the, the Hippo Drones one yesterday. Um, which was like three and a half hours. I finished listening to that this morning. So I listened to it on the way up here last night, but it was a three and a half hour podcast. So I listened to the last hour of it this morning. Um, and now I'm listening to the one with his wife. That's a two and a half hour vlog, uh, podcast. So something for me to listen to on the way down. So anyway, I think I've waffled on long enough now. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of things to come. Hopefully, don't know what I can do with this channel, but see what I can do. Um, I know we've got some new trucks coming. I might see if I can do a review on the new truck, which is going to be the XG, uh, the, da- the new DAF XG. Um, so we, I think we've got five or six of them coming now in the next few weeks. So hopefully uh, I'm going to have a word with the boss and see if I can do a quick review on the XG, show you around it, take you out for a run with it, uh, see what it's like. Um, so that will be something different for you. And then with regards to the Biker Brothers channel, um, Hopefully, we're going to be moving forward and getting a lot more uh, bits and bobs done. Um, I know because I had David's SD card last week, my younger brother, but I was well, I downloaded it for uh, the weekend before for the video, and he wished he'd had another one because he actually took his bike in for a service and they gave him a um, a courtesy bike, and he, they just gave him a normal GS, and he said the difference is phenomenal, and. Um, he would have liked to have recorded something for the for the channel, like you know, but he didn't have an SD card. So, what's the lesson there, Dave? <laughs> Get yourself another SD card. Anyway, I'm waffling again now. I've gone off on a tangent yet again. Right, I'm going to crack on down. I'm going to get down to uh, Leeming Bar, into Core Ingredients, uh, 50 minutes away. Let's get in there and uh, get loaded, and then head back down. See you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Right. Shush, noisy cattle. Done, dusted, loaded, strapped. On me way. Got in here just out the 10 o'clock. Uh, they had redone the booking for 11 because apparently it was originally 1 o'clock, but they uh, spoke to the office about it yesterday, make sure that the booking time was correct. And they've done it, re- redid it at 11 o'clock. But <laughs> so coming through the gate, a uh, guy on the gate said, I'm not booked till Monday, mate. Monday? You sure about that? Yeah, it's bank holiday Monday. Yeah, it's on you. So let me give him a ring. Someone on the phone to clear at the time. Uh, hence why I wasn't recording coming in. Um, so 
so anyway long story short uh, glitch on his system was booked for the day booked for 11 o'clock collection job done so uh, had to wait for a bait because uh, all the bays were full uh, first time I've had to wait for a bay in here but it's all good uh, it is now half past 11 just gone 11 32 and I'm on my way so all being well with a little bit of traffic maybe don't know it will be around about a half past six seven o'clock back to the yard which isn't bad it's up the gate for me to show my number So there we are, there we have it, there we go. And I'm on my way! Back to a good old way, yes. Speed up. Oh. It's these guys I feel sorry for. And he's from Bulgaria, Friday afternoon, or Friday morning still, and he's stuck here. He must be one of those ones that's like away for three to four weeks at a time couldn't do that I'd love to go back and do European work again but I couldn't do the three or four weeks away yeah if I was gonna do European it would be Monday to Friday Monday to Saturday a weekend home and then back out again that's the sort of work I'd be looking for unfortunately there's not a lot of that around in Wales there's one main company that does it um, but I haven't had a, heard a lot of good things about them, so I won't say who they are. And they're paying the best either. And they give you the opportunity to to be away four weeks at a time. Or you can be away Monday to Friday, Monday to Saturday. I'm happy where I am. Stay where I am. I know what I'm doing. I know the people I'm working with. I love the job. Excellent truck. What more could anyone want, really? Why upset the apple cart? There you can have any company. You can have the odd time where you think, ah, stuff it find someone else and I have to admit there's been one or two occasions lately that have made me think yeah do I really want to be here but at the end of the day I know the job I know the people I work with the people I work with are Brill um, and uh, yeah stick to what you know Better the devil you know, as they say, grass isn't always greener. And I gotta be honest, I do make a, a nice little earning out of it. It's not too bad, uh, you know, job-wise, for, for pay. Uh, some weeks the hours couldn't be a little bit lower, but at the end of the day, you gotta take the rough with the smooth. Uh, all right, get up onto the A1. So close this place is to the, uh, the A1, literally off the roundabout, and you're in there. You can actually see the place on the left, yeah. Well, you'll see it over this. Uh, you can see the way you can see over the building, over the bushes there, but that building there is where you load to, quite literally. Uh, so, another boring vlog this week, I'm afraid. Sorry, guys, nothing new. Um, so yeah, I was on the phone to Claire, so I couldn't really start recording, sort of mid-flow talking to Claire. Um, so I couldn't show you going in, but you've been in there with me many a time. I think it was the last one, it was the last video actually, might have been, or was it the one before, maybe. Uh, we had the potty mouth security guard, he wasn't there today. Nice young lad there today, very pleasant. So yeah, so unless anything happens really, I'll be able to say, uh, show you, say much. So, I'm gonna crack on down. I might do a little time lapse. I don't think I've done any time lapses yet, have I? Or did I do one yesterday? I might have done one yesterday, but I'll do another time lapse from here. Although it'll only be in motorway. Um, 
and I'll probably speak to you just before I get back to the ad, let you know what time I'm back. And that'll be it for this week then. So, let's do it. Toodles. Queen of Hearts When everyone folds your forge to holes Your place in your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules Talking way too loud And you're talking rude You're playing a game Driving me insane Your heart is back And it's a fact No turning back You got me tiptoeing around I love this roundabout, I really do. You never know where anyone is going. No indication, could have been going left, could have been going right. <sighs> Very busy on here tonight as well. I'm probably annoying everything that's sat behind me, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Oh, blimey. He's going left, but he's coming round. He's in the wrong lane completely. Dear, 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 dear. He's going left, where's he going? No, no indication, so I've got a clue where you're going. Lane to go left, but comes round to the right. Go, go, go. <laughs> Blimey. I hate that roundabout. I really do. Especially when it's busy. Doesn't help when you've got people in the left lane to go left up towards Abergavenny. Actually, don't indicate at all and then come round to the right. I just don't understand that. Ah, there we go. Anyway. It is now seven minutes past six. I am about 20 minutes away from the yard, give or take. Um, hasn't been too bad coming down. A little bit of traffic on the 42, which you always get, especially on a Friday. I said thank you, change gear. Um, but I haven't been too bad. Uh, I found out as well now, would not work in Monday. We have got Monday off, so we've got a nice three-day weekend, and uh, I'm on e-tax next week. So, what I might do next week is I might do a Tuesday to Friday vlog, uh, whether they be individual ones, one for each day, or one that goes right through, and just do short clips on uh, on the days and show you exactly where I'm going because I'm going somewhere different on Monday I've never been there before down towards Gatwick somewhere apparently uh, not Monday, Tuesday 
So hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit, just a little bit more interesting. Uh, as I said earlier on, the nature of the game, you probably can't see anything through that screen with that sun, can you? The screen is stinking. Give it a quick wash now. See if that helps. That might help. Um, yeah, as I said earlier on, especially working for the small company, you've got their regular customers. You're going to get repeat work all the time, um, which is obviously what I've had for the last four weeks. <laughs> I've literally had the same thing week in, week out. But um, <clears throat> it goes like that sometimes. Uh, I know a lot of you avid fans out there will watch whatever I'm doing. So thank you for that, guys. And if you are watching and you're not subscribed, then uh, contemplate pressing that subscribe button and then press the bell notification to get notifications when my vlogs come out. Uh, I've had a few people asking me why I haven't started memberships um, because I don't think you should pay for uh, what you see, basically. Um, it's my own personal opinion. I don't think you should have to pay. Yes. Other people say it helps the it helps the channel out. So you can get more, you know, more stuff for the channel, camera equipment and accessories and all that sort of thing. But the way I look at it, if I can't do it, why should you? So I, I won't do memberships, uh, anything like that, or buy me a coffee. Or um, the only time I'll ask for anything is if we're raising something for charity. Uh, talking of charity, uh, we got a couple weeks left with uh, Claire's um, 10,000 steps a day challenge, which she's completed. Um, but the, uh, the, uh, the GoFundMe page is open until the end of the month. Uh, she smashed it in two months, 510,000 steps. She had to do 500,000 in three months. She did 510 in two months. It's not bad going for someone that drives a lorry every day. So she done absolutely superbly on that. Uh, so if you'd like to support Claire, for another two weeks then link is in the description uh, when I go check it out take you to a GoFundMe page and if you can afford anything 50p pound five pound whatever you can afford if you can it goes towards Diabetes UK fantastic um, cause um, fantastic charity they do lots and lots of good work uh, for people suffering with diabetes so if you can superb thank you very much guys and for all of you that have already uh, donated Thank you, Vangu. Thank you so, so much. Um, I think she's on 1,300 and something now. So that's a huge amount of money uh, to, go towards, uh, to go towards diabetes. So thank you, guys. Every one of you, it is very, very much appreciated. Practicing this slalom, eh? Got one of the night, guys. Heading out to the hub. Um, so, yeah, and... Every one of you that, uh, that watch week in, week out, uh, doesn't matter what the content that I put out is, you love it and you, you, know, you let me know that you... I read every single one of the messages. Uh, you'll know I've read it because I always put a heart on that. So you know I've read the message. Um, I don't... And I should really answer a little bit more. So maybe I'll start answering a few more um, of the of the comments, or if, if it's a question or whatever else, perhaps I'll uh, I'll start answering a bit more. I do answer a few uh, if I think it um, it uh, deserves an, a, an answer. I don't mean that in a nasty way. Uh, if I, it's one of those questions that you need to have an answer, then I will answer it. Um, but I think I'll start looking through it and maybe answering a few more. Uh, just to get a bit more involved with you guys out there because you take the time to watch me So perhaps I should take a little bit more time and uh, and answer some of you guys a bit more often uh, As I said earlier on I do want to take the channel a little bit further. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet um, But Time will tell we shall see see what I can do with it um, uh, See if I can think of anything to do or, or whatever um, uh, Biker Brothers as well, if you're into your bikes, um, don't forget you can go and follow us on uh, Biker Brothers, it's all an adventure. Um, as I said earlier on, I am going to be doing a review on um, a Benelli BN125, that's going to be in the next few weeks, uh, which is obviously the bike that Claire's buying. 
and um, apparently um, BMW have um, also said that we can try a few more bikes. A second. Hello, my lover. Are you back yet? Not yet. Cameras are rolling, baby. Why are you not back yet? Because I'm almost back. I'm just coming down to. Towards... forwards in reverse or something? Yes, you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm just coming towards Havdaranis Hill now. Oh, God. So I'm not far Big away. Trailer. I told you I won't be back till about half past six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so you don't listen to me, see? That's what it is. Huh? Exactly. I rest yeah, my whatever. I rest my case. Everything alright? Oh, All good. Yeah? Good, good. Yeah. Been chopping. Been chopping, have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got something nice for tea. Have you? Yeah. Turn spaghetti and sausage? No. No? Oh, okay. No. Lasagna. Oh, very nice. Yes. And, and I got a trifle for after. Oh, well, I can't have that. Ah, uh, you know you will. I'll give you a spoon and you'll be at it. <laughs> That'll be my treat for the weekend, is it? <laughs> yeah, and then the cheesecake for tomorrow. <laughs> You're supposed to be supporting me, babe. I am. Yeah. I've got to make sure you're fed. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. There we are then. So, anyway, guys. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's only going to be a short one. There's not much in it. Um, as I say, next week I'm hoping to do a little bit more because I'm back on Etex. Um, Monday I'm going. Uh, Tuesday I'm going somewhere different. So hopefully I can get we that. get to do some work. Oh, shut up. <sighs> she thinks I don't work for a living. You don't? No. Yeah. You just sit in the cab doing nothing all day. Always seems to be You're me, the, door, the last back one back on a Friday. The back door, that's only because you take your time. <laughs> Are you hilarious? You, you go forward to hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to watch my rib here a minute. Hang on. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I saying? You drag it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Yeah, so hopefully next week I can get some uh, some extra footage in for you. Fingers crossed. See work. what we can do. Oh, be quiet, woman. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. See what I'm going to put up with? Well, she's going she to put up with me, mind saying that. So, yeah. yeah. But anyway. It's my anniversary. Yes, I, I have. Like to be horrible. It's not your anniversary yet. Not till tomorrow. <laughs> One year, eh, babe? One year already. Yes. How the hell have I put up with you? I've not got a clue. Mm. Yeah. No uh, me. But we got through it. Just well. Yeah. And here's the many more, eh? Oh, I don't know. No? Oh, I had enough of me already, have you? No, not at all. No? Sure about that? No. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway guys, as I said, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, hope they enjoy it, watching you do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, again, yeah. I, I have just said that, you know, the last four weeks I've been doing exactly the same thing, so. Over and over again. Over and over again, yes. See, I should have had your cameras, they would have had more of an interest. Uh, they might have done, yeah, but you won't speak to cameras, so. No, I know. So, you know. You know. You know. You know. You know. And we're saying things like that, see, it puts seeds in people's minds and then they'll say, yes, Claire, you got to do it. No, Claire's not doing it. Uh-huh. I can't because I swear too much. This is true. You are a potty mouth. As you call me, Miss Potty Mouth. Yes, you are a potty mouth, yes. Every word would have to be beep, 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 beep. Well, well, not really, because at the moment, you know the camera's on and you haven't sworn once, so... That's only because I'm thinking before I speak. Is that what it is, is it? Yeah. Ah, have you got your anodins <laughs> extra? Have you got your anodin extra kit to hand then? A what? Have you got your anodins to hand? Yes. Yeah? That's okay then. My headache afterwards, yeah. You know what happens when you start thinking? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. You're going to get some food poisoning, you carry on, boy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right. Anyway. Right. I'm trying to end this video. <laughs> trying to end this video. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching guys, I know I've said that umpteen times now, but I keep getting interrupted by a certain person. Oh, I'm very sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> uh, whatever you're doing guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely 
catch you in the next one. The same thing over and over again. Yeah. Toodles. <laughs>